So Fabio Fonini and Stefano Travaglia, they face off in the first round in Acapulco. Now, Fonini has been in, in pretty good form lately as he reached the final of the ATP Cup the, the day lost to Russia. And he also reached the fourth round of the Australian Open. He lost to Nadal. So he's in, he's in good form. So, however, more often than not, you don't know what to expect from him. So sometimes he may play brilliantly and sometimes he may not play as well. So you don't know what to expect. But we'll see what happens. Now, Travaglia, he's also in good form. He reached the final of... The, he reached the final, sorry, of, uh, of the Great Ocean Road Open. He lost to Yannick Sinner, so he's in good form. And even though he lost in the first round of the, the Australian Open, he also reached the quarterfinals of Antalya. He lost to Goffin. And I think that he competed in one other tournament. Yeah, he, he competed in the in the Open 13. He, he lost to Mackenzie McDonald. In straight set, but, but they were close. They were two tie breaks. So he, so he's in. He's not in bad form himself. So he can also challenge, especially if Fony is, is mentally away. He, he he can challenge. Now, Fony and Travaglia I've actually met twice, and Travaglia has won both of those meetings. He's won. He won it in the U.S. Open in four sets, and he won it in Croatia. So on the hard and clay courts, he won both the meetings, and he also won. On hard court, he leads 1-0. So, well, right now, this is a, t a, a tough one to pick because we don't really know much about... We know that they're not in bad form, but we don't really know much about how they, what they're going to produce. But I'm going to stick with Fonini to win this one and get his first win just because of what he displayed at the Australian Open and what he also displayed at... The ATP Cup. So I'm going to stick with Fonini. I'm going to say Fonini wins this one in three sets over his good countrymen. I'm going to say he wins it in three sets. So Fonini in three.